Hello viewers, I think I've got something special for you here today. Uh, if you're prepared to put in a bit of time and effort, a bit of work, then this could definitely transform your trading. Now, most traders don't know how their strategy performs, don't know whether they have, you know, just even got a simple edge. But today I'm going to show you something, like I said, that could transform, uh, change that completely. Um, it's called the Renko Backtesting Engine. It's something I put together really quickly. I want to show you how easy it is to do. Um, if you know, like I say, put that application in and it can change your trading. It certainly changed mine. Once you know that you've got the edge, it gives you so much more confidence to go forwards in your trading. And it allows you to test ideas, build ideas. You know, like I say, so much, you know, more that it can give to your trading. So with that, let's get into it. So like I just said, if you can't you know, test your ideas, then you can't trust them. And that brings in a huge psychological element to your trading. Now, most traders, you know, they just go off gung ho, you know, willy nilly, don't know whether they've really got an edge or not. You know, positive expectation to their trading system. And that is where they fall down. They might just watch a YouTube video. It looks good. They start and off they go, but they don't know they've actually got an edge. Whereas the professional loves to test, loves to run simulations, loves to play with the variables until they know 100% before they press that fire button that they've got a positive expectancy to their trading. And that's what this video is all about. I want to show you how easy it is to put together a Renko um backtesting engine based around a simple strategy across different markets that you can play around with the variables not backfit or overfit but to come up with a starting point for your trading now backtesting is also a mindset shift think of backtesting as um, a starting point for your trading rather than um, a prediction of the future because it's not that it's saying that over the history we've got a certain element of an edge we can take that as a starting point and then there's a whole load more to it once you go live. But we need to start somewhere and that is what this does. And I'm going to demo very quickly now what I threw together in a few hours, which you could also produce yourself. So it's always helpful to visualize um, what we're going to do here. And this is the strategy I'm testing. And it's very simple, straightforward one. Um, you can see stochastics down the bottom. Um, you can see this uh, set to five three twenty. We got two moving averages there and there. Um, that's two hundred and ten. And the simple rules are: if it crosses up through the eighty, um, and the and the price is above both the moving averages, we go long. So we could maybe take a trade in there. Let's just do a quick example. And getting out, it's when it moves back through down through the eighty or crosses. Um, the stochastic whatever happens first so it means we get out somewhere around there so this was on the s p 500 with a block size of five but i'm going to show you across different markets and show you what test results we would get for that strategy so here you go here's a renko back testing engine um the data feed as you can see is from a place called data bento but like I said, I've just thrown this together really quickly. If I really wanted to spend on the time and add all the bells and whistles, I could make this, you know, pretty amazing. Um, but I just want to show very quickly how you can come up with something very effective. Now, let me take you through it. Down the left hand side, we got our inputs and variables. Got my API key in there and today to Bento. And then we got the markets that we can trade. I've put in a selection of futures markets. We've got the um, back testing period that we want to use. Let's set that to one minute on the Renko charts as well. And we've got the parameters here. This one's just going to be a stochastic and a moving average strategy. And I'll lay out the rules in a moment um, for that so you know what I'm using. Then we've got how much um, capital we got in our pot. And finally, we've got um, the risk per trade set to 1% there. So let's just run a very quick back test now. So we're on um, oil futures at the moment, WTI, and we've got a Renko brick size of um, 10 cents. Let's just change that even faster. Let's change that to 5 cents. 
So we go like that, it resets the page. We run the back test very quickly. You can see how quick that was. That's just taken about six months of data and fired off the results. You can see that we've got the price data coming in. We got our performance summary. Now what happened there with that strategy? We had 28 trades over the period. We got a win rate of 64%, an average win of $259, average loss of 51, very good profit factor, nine to one. Total return, 41% over that time with just you know that small strategy. Final equity, so our 10,000 has become 14,000 and an annualized sharp of 25. Obviously that's very good because you know, we just used that short period and it annualized it. So if we had a longer back test, it'd probably be a lot lower. Then the max drawdown, 1.72%. So really, that looks a decent strategy. And it was just a simple stochastic cross with a trend um, 10 and 200 moving average filter. We can see all the trades there. And then if we scroll down further, we've got our stochastic and the, you know, the whole setup, the Renko chart. And what I did is I did a little bit of scrolling and added a few things on here. So if I highlight the area, it will zoom in for me and I can see exactly what's gone on uh, in terms of the trade. And then right down the bottom, we've got an equity curve as well. We haven't got the full equity curve there because I've zoomed in. But if I zoom back out again, there you go. You can see the full equity curve all looking very nice. So here are the rules of the strategy. It's a chart, Renko based, one minute um, close setup. Brick size is user defined. We've got a trend filter um, for a long bias, the moving average 10 grade and the 200 moving average and vice versa for the short stochastic settings, 5, 3, 20. But remember, we can change all of that. Um, the entry rules, long entry, bias for long, percentage K crosses up through 20. So we need the moving average in play there as well, lined up with the stochastic cross. And then the short entry, um, the opposite. And exit rule. So we've got an either or here. If the percentage K crosses down through um, percentage D or the percentage K crosses down through 80, whatever one happens first, and it's vice versa for the short exit, but crossing up through the 20, the only difference there. And then risk management, stop loss for Renko bricks, risk per trade, 1% of equity and position size auto calculated from the stop distance that is it that was our simple strategy it might be something you come up with um you know or think about or something very similar you plug that into an engine like that you get the stats so let's just have a play around again with the variables um with another market and see what we can do so i've taken the nasdaq next with the ticker mnqz5 as you can see in there I kept the same one minute blocks um same test period and obviously i need a new block size because it won't be the same as for oil so i'm using 50 so quite chunky um and then kept it at a thousand actually let's just knock that up to say two percent we wanted to risk more on this we like the idea of that um obviously i could change the inputs as well i might want a 50 and a 100 moving average for example i might want to change the overbought and oversold levels to play with that but let's just start with that setup it's going to run through it's pending in the data it's creating the bricks and in terms of results 41 trades average win loss about one to one profit factor 1.29 only six percent return there so nothing great there low sharp drawdown nearly eight percent over that period and you can see the equity curve very bouncy you can see where we give back in this trade because it crosses back out um on the exit so we expect to see a little bit of give back but actually you know we made money but you know nothing substantial but it's a starting point so then you know change the variables you know, like i said let's have a a quick play you know it might produce nothing let's go to 50 and 7 just randomly run the back test did that help our um, strategy any more trades 55 um, return just a bit better 10 percent less of a drawdown so yeah using different moving averages definitely helped um, what about the block size let's halve the block size for example um, run the back test i like the way it processes really quickly as well um, 
well, that's not too bad looking maybe slightly better with a smaller block size sharp not that great but we have got a big draw down there 20 percent as well return though we've made 50 percent but more bumpy ride than say the oil but there you go that's the sort of a walkthrough demo of what you could possibly be building very quickly yourself and you can see you know like i said if the bells and whistles were on it i would add in more indicators uh, more markets more time frames yeah, more risk um and trade management features but as a starting point you know you spend a few hours unless you build it you now know whether you've got an edge or not you now know whether to trade your strategy you now know what to do and to me that you know fixes a lot of problems around psychology your trade you know trade management your results performance you know the whole lot i think it's a really good starting point so here's a quick peek at the code. Don't be intimidated by it. Don't worry about it. It looks far more complicated than what it actually is. You know, I'm going to show you shortly how you can also learn how to do this stuff very easily. Um, I just wanted to run you through it. It's about 800 lines of code for this stuff. But once you know what you're doing, you can add and chop and change from other bits of code you've already written into it to um, get it done a lot quicker. We import... Um, the libraries that we need the port one for this one was streamlit that gave us that web-based um, interface that you saw me playing around with um, other standard libraries like numpy and um, pandas plotly for the drawing of it all very simple you can see if i just scroll through i've coded out some of the stuff there so i knew what i was doing and remind remember myself there with the contracts um, that you were putting in um, what else do we have of importance? Varenko construction, how I built that, and then um, reminding them how to set the charts up in the um, data frame there to uh, give us the visualization that we needed. And then we, what else have we got? Indicators for the Renko, um, stochastics laid out there, the moving averages my strategy rules all put in down there what they were doing when they cross when they don't cross how you get in and how you get out the training in the back test strategy itself all down in there all put through that and then the metrics the performance metrics so we know what we were you know getting out of our back test and then the plotting out you know how we visualize that stuff through the equity curve through the Brenco chart plotting on the indicators onto that chart interface there and you can see the streamlit um, page that you know, helped us visualize and interact with our strategy very easy to do and set up um, these libraries they're magic stuff once you know what ones to use they can save you a whole load of, load of time and basically that's about it so that was the code to the back testing engine and once you've got the skill set to do it you can change it adapt it add to it and do whatever you like to it um you know there's so many possibilities the video after this i'm going to show you how you could take this um bit of kit into the next stage of going live trading how can you tap into a broker and put live trades through so that's another you know great thing you can do with the world of python you can start to see how much more control you get over your trading if you you know spend the time and the effort learning this sort of skill and i'm self-taught um, from it and i found it invaluable and it's sort of taken my trading up um, certainly a few levels since i've learned it and it just saves you loads of times so where you don't have to buy expensive off the shelf bits of kit you're fully in control of what you're doing that's what the pros do up in those you know hedge funds and investment banks trading companies they're using this stuff all the time to find that expectancy and edge and it's there for you as well and you might be saying Stephen well you know it looks all too complicated for me it's not really I can tell you you can teach yourself it's there it's available you just got to get stuck in and you're in the right place because so if you want to learn about Renko and putting that together with you know um, this type of coding and python stuff then you know i've got you covered the um well first of all i've got all the books and the the background to the renko world but then you want to do the python we've got the python for trading course out um, in pre-sale right now and we've also got a renko bot course out which is a notch up from the python course python course 
It's broken into three levels for complete beginners to get you up to scratch to so you can then take it into the world of trading and apply all these ideas. And then we also touch on machine learning. Then the Renko Bot course is a complete build for stuff that I do and use, very similar, um, where you just go away, build your own Renko bots, whatever market you want to do, fully automated, and you're off and running. So those two courses available now, I'll put links into the description below this, but even better, it's Black Friday weekend, and I've got a great offer for you, a Renko Mega Bundle, where those courses, the book, ticket to my masterclass in January, all thrown in there, about 60% off, but there's only 50 units there, so you're gonna to have to be quick, and it all ends on Cyber Monday and then that bundle won't be available anymore, 60% off. So definitely worth a look if you're interested in this sort of stuff. But if you like today's video, uh, please give me the thumbs up, always helps the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification and um, bell buttons to receive future um, notification of content that I'll be producing. Lots more stuff coming your way. And all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in that next video.